Hello, and welcome to this episode about the Talent for Performance Management Styles Matrix. This is a simple matrix that Ali Gibbons and myself put together to help leaders and managers know what management style to use depending on the complexity of the task and the competence of the individual that they're actually managing. So if we take, for example, the high and low complexity on the vertical axis, here we've got a low complexity task. For example, doing the checking the, the pressure of a, a car tire versus doing a full 10,000 mile full service in a, in a mechanics workshop. Or here doing a simple cheese sandwich versus doing a four course banquet for VIPs. So it's the complexity of the task. This is non-linear and there's lots of dependencies and this is a simple individual task which is quite linear and quite simple. Here we've got low competence, i.e. they're not very clear on what the standards are. They need to know what the standards are and they need feedback from others. And here they've got high competence, they know what the standards are and they can probably self-assess whether they're doing a good job or not. So over here, if we've got low competence and low complexity, what we need is instructing. giving clear direction, close supervision. But as we move across, up this line into more complex situations where there's more nuance to be considered, then we move into mentoring, where we're giving our advice and guidance about what we've learned, the mistakes we've made, to help people to understand the complexities of the situation. And on this side of the line, it's still a lot of you giving your thinking, you're sharing your thoughts, your experiences. But we want to get people over into this side of the line where they can self-assess and think for themselves, taking ownership and responsibility. And that begins with asking questions and coaching. Asking questions to raise accountability, to take ownership and understand responsibility and that they make decisions for themselves about the way forward. And finally, we get to delegation. So with delegation, you can hand over complete responsibility and accountability for the task so they can run with it because you know they've got high competence and they can break tasks down into bite-sized chunks in order to manage and prioritize and get them done. So when it comes to management and it comes to management styles, stay curious.